I'm, I'm lucky to know some really great people who are relatively Orthodox Catholics. Yeah. And, and, and if there's any temptation I ever have toward religion, it's, it's watching, it's, it's not arguing with those people uh, about faith, uh, which I've done a lot of, but, but it's uh, just kind of watching how they live their lives and seeing that there is some wisdom in whatever it is that they're doing, um, that, that there's something special about whatever it is that they're doing. And, uh, and yet, even when that makes me, uh, you know, for a moment more sympathetic to the church or makes me think, you know, even if I don't have this set of beliefs, maybe uh, being more of a cultural Catholic is something I want to do. Uh, and then I think about, I think about the church, and I think about you know Cardinal Mahoney going and and being one of the guys who's picking the next pope, and uh, I, I just think, um, you know, all of these guys who are so uh, complicit in this scandal are are the people who are choosing the next leader, right? And it, it, that's got to be. You know, there are people with this tremendous stake in certain information not coming out. And um, it, it just seems to me that it, it will corrupt the process in, in, such, a terrible, uh, in such a terrible way. So, I, I, look, uh, I, think, I think that institution builders are almost inherently, um, you know, complicit in, they're almost always complicit in sin somehow. It's, so it seems, right? I mean, you see this at Yeshiva University where you have the case... Um, you know, a, a month or two ago that the Forward newspaper in New York did such amazing reporting on where, you know, Norman Lamb, who's this revered leader of, of orthodoxy and apparently now is, is somewhat senile and can't really speak for himself, but, um, you know, he when he found out that some of his faculty members at Yeshiva University's high school, at its prep school for boys, were, you know, wrestling with kids, molesting kids, uh, in one case quite gruesomely molesting uh, boys, uh, you know, he packed them off to teach at day schools in Florida, in Israel, never told anyone. They always had access to more victims. And he gave this very telling quotation to the forward where he said, well, you know, we, we, we didn't see any reason in destroying a man's career over what he did, right? Well, I think that's part of it, right? Part of it was just a generational difference in the understanding of that kind of, 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 of crime and that kind of sin and, and a, la a loss, a lack of sympathy at the time. The other difference is you know, you're looking at this institution that you believe so deeply in, and it's so easy to tell yourself that um, the price you'd pay for, for telling the truth would be such a huge scandal and such a diminution in the prestige of the university that it would actually be right, worse yeah. for the world. You know, the world needs Yeshiva University. The world needs um, an, an honored Catholic church, they believe. Mm -hmm. So you right. and they end up they end up doing this utilitarian calculus, and, and it's the same thing that fundraisers do anywhere, where they have to go around and suck up to... You know, horrible people. You know, you end up, as Christopher Hitchens always wrote, you know, Mother Teresa sucking up to, you know, Papa Doc Duvalier for money, maybe with Baby right, Doc. Yeah. So, I mean, institution builders do horrible things, and we kid ourselves uh, if we think otherwise.